I'm waiting for Sander. He is on his way to get a dog chaser. They don't have a dog chaser. But what do they have, Sander? Uh, a taser of uh, 200,000 volts. <laughs> Hey there everyone, great you're here for this new Travel Gretel episode. Today we are coming to you from Mara Mures, a beautiful region here in the north of Romania. So I hope you're ready and let's explore. In the summer of 2017 we took our car and drove it all the way from the Netherlands to Romania. And yes, that's indeed two years ago. I just never found time to edit these videos. So now that I did find time, I very much still love to share our adventures here with you. So come along because we are on our way to Botiza in the northern province of Mara Mures. I don't know if it's just today or if that's like a normal Sunday in the north of Romania, but uh, it's nice to see people wear this amazing traditional clothing. Also, just another when one. they're generally walking on the street. Another one! <laughs> see? That's it! Wow! <gasps> really? Oh, I'm impressed. We found online that George is really highly recommended as a homestay for this place. Um, but he was full and he um, put us in another place. And this is actually really, really, really beautiful. A lot of traditional wood, really friendly people. Um, yeah, I'm happy. This is everything I could wish for after, uh, after a whole day of traveling. Ioana and Vasil, the owners of the place, took great care of us making us amazing local food with some good local alcohol as well. Yeah. Vasil is a woodworker, which might not be surprising if you consider that Maramures is also called the land of wood. You will find unique wooden gates wherever you look, with loads of traditional symbols on them. The rope, for example, symbolizes the connection between the land and the sky. And the sun is the symbol of God. Skills and crafts are passing from generation to generation. And so little is changed here, it almost feels like going back in time. We found ourselves quite lucky stumbling upon this local festival just when we arrived here. You will find all information about everything shown in this video in the description box down below. Next day we're off to one of the most unique places in this world. The Mary Cemetery. Yes, we're actually visiting a graveyard, but one that's very different from any other. It's colorful and bright and even has some humor in it. Then Johan Patras carved the first cross in 1935 and other people are still doing it today. Every cross is unique with scenes from the life of the deceased and some poets that go beyond the normal cliches. The most famous one goes like this. Under this heavy cross lies my mother-in-law. Had she lived another three days, it would have been me who lied here and she would have been the reader. 
You who here are passing by, not to wake her up, please try. Because if she comes back home, she will criticize me more. But I will surely behave, so she will not return from grave. Stay here, my dear mother-in-law. As I said, it's a lot more creative than your usual rest in peace. And it's not just the crosses that are beautifully decorated. Also, the church on the ground is quite unique and colorful. Along the way, we keep our eyes open for another highlight of this region, the wooden churches. They tell important tales about history. Foreign rulers wouldn't allow the people to build long-lasting stone churches, so instead the locals created them out of wood. Some of them survived the elements for quite some time, so we can still enjoy them today. Most of the churches still standing were built between the 17th and 19th century. They are examples of Gothic architecture, with high roofs and tall, narrow towers on the west side of the church. Because they all look very different from the outside and inside, it's very much worth it to visit more than one. With people still praying in these churches nowadays, they are much more than historical monuments. They are still an important part of daily life. There are almost 100 of them in Maramures, and eight even made it to the UNESCO World Heritage List. The next highlight you must see is Barzana Monastery, one of the landmarks of Maramures. In 1717, the local church was burned by the Tartars during an invasion, and a new church was built in 1720. This wooden church became one of the eight churches on the World Heritage List, but you won't find it in the monastery anymore. It was moved from this hill to another location to become a cemetery for the plague victims. Local legends tell that the dead already buried up the hill also moved underground so they may find their peace again near the old church tower. The monastery got a new church, built between 1993 and 1995, which is one of the tallest wooden churches in Romania at 57 meters tall. Monastery is still an important pilgrimage destination. Besides the church, you will find a summer altar, a museum, the chapel, and the nun's house, amongst a lot of other things. All built in the local Mare Muresh wooden style. And of course, you will find a lot of flowers, and it's very serene in here. On Sundays, the residents from the village still attend the service in traditional costumes, or so I've heard. I'm waiting for Sander, he is on his way to get a dog chaser. Because we heard that the shepherd's dogs can be pretty, um, pretty territorial. And I don't want a dog just hanging in my leg when we're hiking tomorrow. I don't know what's true or not, what to believe on the internet, what not to believe. But uh, I'm just a stupid tourist and just to be sure, we're getting a dog chaser. They don't have a dog chaser, but what do they have, Sander? Uh, a taser of uh, 200,000 volts. <laughs> Didn't buy it. Oh, no, we don't have one. That would be freaking illegal to bring that back to the Netherlands. Anyway, let's just hope we don't meet a bear or a dog tomorrow. So the last thing we did, obviously, is going for a hike. Just a walk from our homestay in Butiza into the fields.
along the way, you will find interesting places to stop like more monasteries and of course wooden churches. But the hike is a goal in itself already, with beautiful hills and green fields. All in all, I really enjoyed this region and I wish we would have had more time and stayed longer to explore even more. But I will leave that up to you when you're visiting. If you've got any tips, leave them in the comments down below. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell button if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any video. See you next time. Boop.